Hi friends, you are watching Gate Helpline. In this video, we will see question number 1 from ISRO December 2017 question paper. Friends, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get all the latest updates from our channel regarding gate exam. So friends, question number 1 is, suppose A is a finite set with n elements, the number of elements and the rank of the largest equivalence relation on A are, and the options are A, n, 1, b n comma n c n square comma 1 and d 1 comma n square so friends now we will see explanation to this question suppose a is a finite set with n elements the number of elements and the rank of the largest equals relation on a are so in the first case we will see what is an equivalence relation a relation r on a set a is an equivalence relation if and only if r is reflexive symmetric and transitive and in this example, we are considering that you know what are reflexive, symmetric and transitive relations. So, we will directly jump to our first case that is smallest equivalence relation on set S are the diagonal relation or the number of elements in a diagonal relation that is N. So, the cardinality of the smallest equivalence relation on set S is N. And similarly, the largest equivalence relation on set S is N s cross s that is n raised to power 2 or the cardinality of largest equivalence relation s is equals to n square so this we will see with the help of an example so let s equals to a comma b means set s is having two elements that is a and b so the largest equivalence relation on s becomes s cross s that is if we take the cross between these this set s it will be a comma a a comma b b comma a and b comma b so because it follows all the three properties reflexive symmetric and transitive and it is the largest set and for the smallest equivalence relation on s it will be a comma a and b comma b and the cardinality here will be 2 so that equals to n so friends for the first part, the number of elements into an largest equivalence relation, the answer to that is n square. That is, with this explanation, we are having 1, 2, 3 and 4 subsets. So, the number of elements here are n square, that is 2 raised to power 2, which equals to 4. So, friends, in the second case, the subset of all elements related to a particular element forms a universal relation contains all possible arcs on that subset the sub diagraph representing the subset is called a complete sub diagraph all arcs are present here so the number of such subsets is called the rank of the equivalence relation so let's see the example of rank of equivalence relation here we are having a set s having element a1 a2 and a3 here the rank of this equivalence relation is 3 because each of the subset is called an equivalence class and the number of equivalence class equals to the rank of the equivalence relation. So here for a1 element we are having a1 class because this one is not connected to any other element and for a2 we are having a2 class and for A3, we are having A3 equivalence class. Similarly, we will see another example. So friends, in this example, we are having the same three elements that is A1, A2 and A3 into our set S. But here we are having this connection with A1 and A2 element. So here the rank of the equivalence class is 2. And if we see another example, where we are having elements a1, a2 and a3 but here a2 and a3 are connected so each of the subset is called an equivalence class but here with a1 we will see for this example for a1 element that belongs to the equivalence class a1, a2 and a2 belongs to the equivalence class a1, a2 and a3 belongs to the equivalence class a3 so here we are having total classes this a1 a2 1 and this a3 2 so the rank of this equivalence relation here is 2 
Similarly, in the example, if we have three elements a1, a2, and a3 into a set S, and all these three elements are connected to each other, in this case, the rank is one because each of the subset is called an equivalence class, and here the equivalence class is one because a1 belongs to the equivalence class a1, a2, a3. Similarly, a2 belongs to the equivalence class a1, a2, a3, and similarly for a3 element. So here the equivalence class is 1 and the rank is also equals to 1. So friends, now we will summarize what we have learned. So here the question was the number of elements and the rank of the largest equivalence class on A R. So here how many ordered pairs can you have in A cross A? So we have seen that for the largest one the A cross A will result n square elements. So this has got n elements. So n square elements you can have. And all these n square ordered pairs are present in this relation. So this one is the largest equivalence relation. So how many elements are there in the largest equivalence relation means there will be n square elements in the largest equivalence relation on A. So this is the answer for the first one. In this case, every pair of element is related. So if you have a1, a2, a3 and an, then a1 and a2 will be in the same equivalence class because everything is related. So a2 and a3 will be in the same equivalence class and so on. That is the second part. So here we are considering the case that every pair of element is related to each other. That, similar, that simply means that the equivalence class is 1. Like that all a1, a2, a3 and an will be in the same equivalence class. So what is the rank or the index of the equivalence relation? It is the number of the equivalence classes. And in this case the number is just 1. And answer to this one is just 1. So summarizing this the number of elements and the rank of the largest equivalence relation on A, the answer will be n square for first one and one for the second one. Friends, for practicing, download Gate Virtual Calculator by Gate Helpline from Android Play Store. So friends, as per our discussion, answer to this question is option C, that is n square comma one. So friends, thanks for watching our video. Please like subscribe our channel and share our videos to appreciate our work. If you have any doubt or question, please comment below and keep watching our channel for videos like this.